Well, I got me a new TV. A transparent Magnavox Smart Series. And um, it's a 13 inch. But it's not any ordinary TV. No, I, I thought this was a prototype or a production sample or some sort of salesman sample or some weird um, non-retail television set. Turns out that was not the case. I'll explain. There's a few features you'll notice on this TV that set it apart from the civilian version of this 13-inch color TV set. Number one, it's clear. That's important. Number two, it has no internal speaker, but it has the acoustic um, speaker cavity so that one could be added or um, what have you. It was built with security screws instead of Phillips head screws. You can see down in there. The security screw has a center pin. It's like the IBM power supply screws that they used to use in the 90s. So there's three differences that uh, set it apart from the civilian set. Um, well, I've already given it away. This is in fact a prison TV. This is what prisoners would be forced to buy if they could afford one, um, if they wanted to watch television in their cells. That's right. Prisoners apparently are allowed to have TVs, but they have to be transparent. So a few manufacturers have and, and still do offer a transparent version of their normal civilian 13-inch uh, TV sets. Um, and the prison sets do not have speakers um, because apparently the prisons have an issue with 3,000 TVs blaring at all hours of the night. So that's one major difference. Other than that, it's your, your typical 13-inch TV. It has... Um, all the same features, the same menu, the same interfaces and plugs. It just doesn't have a speaker, it's clear, and it was built with security screws. Now you're probably wondering, well, why are they clear? Well, here's why. Um, because of the large, empty, unused space in these CRT TVs, um, it's very easy to hide items or contraband uh, inside them. So prisoners would disassemble the TVs, stick a an eight ball or something inside, or a pack of cigarettes, reassemble it, and it, obviously it was still it would still function. It just would be used as a, as a makeshift safe. So to prevent the um, guards from having to disassemble TVs to find items, they would make them out of a transparent plastic. Um, th I believe this set came from the. The Goffstown Woman's Prison in Hillsborough County, New Hampshire. Um, it has an inmate name on it. Here it is. Um, the few prison television sets that I've seen surface on eBay, I've only seen one or two, they all have the inmate's name on them with their ID number. Um, I do know that Zenith actually manufactures the, almost the exact same set, uh, but with their badging on it. And that TV set, because obviously since they're clear, you can see who manufactured the set. In this case, it was Chunghua, which is a Chinese manufacturer. They built um, the Magnavoxes and uh, from apparently the, the Zenith sets. Which is good, because Funai, which is another major manufacturer of TVs, um, who is my least favorite, uh, made a lot of them too. There are a lot of 13-inch sets for these companies. Um, but Chung Wah is one of the be better ones. Um, I think I've gone over all the features and differences. Let's see it operate. Like I said, it works just like any other 13-inch. In fact, it was built from the same cavity, same parts, same mold cavities um, as their civilian production models because obviously it has a speaker housing. Um, so that would mean that the basically the the back cover was molded using the same molds as the Walmart version. I have this one plugged in. It does turn on. It has a slight whistle to it. 
um, which is typical of these inexpensive Chinese TVs, even when they're new, um, which is pretty unfortunate. Let's see if I can bring up the menu. There's volume control. I think, yeah, if you press them together, it brings up the menu. So like I said, there's, there's no speaker built in, but there are, of course, there is an audio output jack for a set of headphones. Um, it would have a remote. There is a sensor here. I don't have the remote for it. Um, chances are that wound up um, either stuffed in a mattress somewhere. It could still even be in prison. It could still be doing time. Now, because these are so damn expensive uh, in the prisons, now, prisoners, I believe, can buy stuff from outside of prison, but it has to be shipped from a reputable sell, uh, either uh, from a reputable person or or store. But I do know, and I've I found a prison forum that actually uh, just has there's a long thread about where do I get TVs and how much do they cost, and uh, a TV like this would retail for about probably around two hundred and fifty to two hundred and eighty dollars just recently so that's about six or seven cartons of cigarettes um, and you're lucky if you don't get shanked if somebody wants your TV and and they want it and, and, and you don't want to sell it to them for cigarettes you might get shanked for it I don't know I've never never been in prison so I don't know what it's like but uh, which is also why these names are almost always engraved on the TV. So if you find one and it has a name on it, and it says, like, Charles Manson, well, you've got a, a very valuable piece there, but this one's probably not that valuable. Um, but I am wondering, though, I mean, if these sell new for so much money, and this is only a couple years old, it's a 2006 model, um, how much is it worth to a prisoner now? Or do they not still use these? I don't know. Well, okay, I've discussed this TV to death now, so I'm going to move on to something else. Um, any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me.